What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Kangaroo Black. Coming back once again to talk about the Georgia G-Day game. I had to go to Alabama this weekend, so I didn't get a chance to watch it yesterday because if I would have been home and I would have been watching it, I would have been live talking all kind of crap to the Georgia Bulldogs, well, to Georgia Bulldog Nation. All right? But I'm home now. I just got done watching it. And I know I'm going to talk about it. Some things I saw I liked, some things I saw that didn't impress. But it's just spring football, all right? Just a spring game. And uh, you can't take too much from these spring games. Matter of fact, you really can't take anything from these spring games. Because guess what? Some of these guys that played in this spring game, these spring games yesterday, it was a lot of them, but some of the guys that played in those spring games yesterday won't be on the team once the season starts. You know, transfer portal is already open, and guys are jumping in it. Matter of fact, you George Bulldogs had a surprise yesterday. It surprised me and a lot of other people that uh, Barry Alexander entered the transfer portal. The day of or the day before the uh, the Georgia G-Day game. So, don't know what happened there, but I'm going to talk about that in another video. So, we're going to leave that alone right now. But I like the amount of people Georgia had at the game, man. They got a, they had a lot of fan support. I know they was they doing renovations on one side of the stadium, but the stadium, the other side was pretty much packed. I don't know how many people were there. I ain't got no numbers, but... They had great fan support at the Georgia G Day game, so I like that man. That, that was that was that was awesome. The 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 layer game penalty they took to honor honor Devin Willock and Chandler McCroy, that was a great gesture. So I mean that 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 was awesome. That was really awesome. So I know two great Georgia Bulldogs who were sorely missed by their family and friends, football team because both of them was part of the football team. Devin Willock. Uh, offensive lineman, Chandler LaCroix on the staff. So hey, man, but that was that was a good gesture that they 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 showed uh, uh, on yesterday. But far as the game, ain't but one thing that I took away that is clear cut, and that is Carson Beck is QB one, and will be QB one September second, the first game. That is clear. Carson Beck. Look damn good in that spring spring game. His touch on the ball, his accuracy, everything. I like he got a smooth touch on his 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 balls 15 to 20 yards downfield when he floated in the air. I mean that looks so smooth, man. That looks smooth. So he is QB1. Uh, he went for what 13 or 18, 211 yards, no interceptions. The other two quarterbacks had an interception, even though. The one uh, Brock Vandergriff had, it wasn't his fault because it was deflected. So, But he almost had another one, too, that would have got deflected. Uh, so Carson Beck is QB1. Uh, in my opinion, Brock Vandergriff looked terrible in that spring game. Terrible like he couldn't complete a pass until the the last minute of the game when he completed the touchdown to, uh, to what's his name, Muse. So, but yeah, uh, uh Makai Muse, I think that's his name. Little short guy. Looked like he's about 5'2. He's gonna be a he's gonna be a spark plug for y'all. All right. You know how know how they say, hey, we need to get a little spark in the game. He's gonna be the guy. I guess he's gonna be like a slot receiver for y'all. His little short ass. <laughs> he got a motor on him. I, I like I like him when he uh I guess he thought he was gonna run a, a touchdown back on the kickoff, but you know, it didn't count. But I, but I like that. He's going to have a motor to him. He caught a ball down the middle of the field, switched directions. I thought he was gone. The little, little, little guy is pretty good. I hope to see him on the field uh, this this uh, this upcoming season for, for the Georgia Bulldogs, man. But like I say, Brock Vandergriff, not Brock Vandergriff, but Carson Beck is QB1. Brock Vandergriff looked terrible to me. I'm sure it was. He done had some great practices because this all the spring game. This is a practice, glorified practice, I'll say that. But I'm sure he done had some good practices, you know, where he didn't, he could, he probably completed damn near every pass he threw. But in this spring game, he looked terrible. All right. Gunnar Stockton looked better than him. I think, matter of fact, Gunnar Stockton ran for a touchdown too. But anyway, 
Uh, Gunnar Stockton looked better than him, but Gunnar Stockton didn't complete too many more passes than uh, uh, Brock Vandegrift. But he looked better than Brock Vandegrift, I tell you that. But, of course, both of those guys was getting pressure when Carson Beck wasn't getting no pressure. But even when they put uh, Carson Beck on the black team for a few minutes, he, st he still was complete passes looking good. But that's all right. This just practice. Those guys still got time to learn. But one thing about it, Carson Beck is QB1. I have no doubt about it. All right? Uh, uh, Lawson Lucky. He looked the part of a great tight end. He just might be the next Brock Bowers. He looked good. I like Lawson Lucky. Even though you still got Brock Bowers, you still got uh, uh, Oscar Depp. I hope to see Lawson Lucky on the field this coming season. I believe he'll freshman. But, hey, at the tight end position, even if you don't get on the field this season, y'all got great things to look forward to in the future at the tight end position with, with, with uh, Lawson Lucky. So that, that that's all right, man. Um, kicking game looked pretty good as far as the field goal kicker. They looked pretty good, I think. I know I seen a 40-something yard made. Uh, and, and probably was two, but but the kicking game looked pretty good. So it is what it is. Uh, the dang on you know Kirby Small, he gonna have these guys ready to go by the time the season starts. So like I say, you can't take too much from these dang on uh these dang on spring games. I know I mentioned Lawson Lucky, Lucky Lawson Lucky, and uh Makai Muse, but it. Men and mention those two guys. It take me back to daggone a Jai Hall, what he did in his his spring game at Alabama. He went off. We thought we had some us Alabama fans. We was happy to have him. All the time we had nothing. We had nothing because he didn't do nothing for Alabama. Besides give Nick Saban a headache. That was it. And he went on to uh to Texas. And did the same thing there. So, <laughs> it is what it is, man. Sometimes some work out and some don't. So, it all, it all, all how to cook the crumbles, as they might say. But anyway, another, on the defensive side of the ball, man, I seen the first half, I seen too many wide receivers wide open. They was wide open, especially with Carson Beck. I mean, they was wide open. I know they were, yeah, was probably going against the second team. I don't know. I just seen a lot of wide receivers open in the first half. Kind of kind of uh, uh, got in control in the second half. But the first half, it was terrible. So it is what it is. The front seven, I think they're going to be all right. I think the front seven going to be all right defensively, which it always is for those George Bulldogs. All right. So I, didn't, I wasn't impressed by the secondary. All right. Running backs. Uh... I don't think they was going hard as they could go at all, even though I've seen a couple of times where they carried the pile in the end zone or carried them for yardage. I don't think they was going hard as they could go because Branson Robinson and DeJean Edwards, those are two beasts. I know it. I've seen it last year. Those, those guys are beasts. And then you got uh, the other one coming back. Forget his name, but he, he I think he was uh, number two on the depth chart last season. But he coming back, so – yeah, I'm going, they, you know they're going to be good at running back. Plus, I'm sure they got some more behind those three guys. So, they ain't going to have no issue at running back. Two, I don't think they'll have no issues at quarterback, and I don't think they'll have no issues at running back. Uh, but as far as the quarterback, telling you, George Bulldog fans, y'all better hope that don't nothing happen to Carson Beck or y'all might be in a world of trouble. So, but I would put a uh, gun of Stockton. That's QB number two. Just going off this spring game. That That is it. So, y'all better hope nothing don't happen to Carson Beck. That's all I can say. Y'all y'all, y'all just might be in a little bit of a whole heap of trouble at the quarterback position. Y'all might want to go in the transfer portal and get a proven quarterback who can back up Carson Beck. <laughs> That's what I'm just saying. But it is what it is, man. Hey, it is what it is. But uh, I have no doubt. George Bulldogs will be in contention again. Be ready to, to defend their national championship once again. So, 
It is what it is. But that's pretty much all I got for this 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 spring get day. Get, I mean this uh G day game. I didn't take nothing, but one thing. Well, two things, three things away from it. Three. Carson Beck is QB one. Uh 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 Lawson Lucky. Gonna wind up being a great tight end. And, and, and Makai Muse, he's going to be a, a spark plug for y'all. You can believe that. So it is what it is. And I'll talk to y'all later and roll damn time.